Hi, this is Esther at the Trucking Scribe. Today I am working on some digitals that I played with. Well, this one isn't a digital, but these are. I had distressed inked them because they didn't print out right. And believe it or not, they came out much better than I expected. Here's some of the purples. So that's what I'm going to be playing with today. I hope you enjoy it and let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you. So I am getting ready for Halloween, trying to. And I have misprints and everything else. This is one of them. So I thought, let me put it in this here container and see what happens. This is one that I just laid on top with that one. So it is still damp. I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put them at. But for whatever reason, my printer is acting crazy. So now I have several different um, so I have these that are printed all crazy. And I thought I would just put them in here. I've been watching some videos on, on this. And when I started, I'm like, I don't know. But it's picking up the ridges of this Coke bottle, Coke pan. And I'm just taking these and laying them down and rubbing on top of the other one, trying to get a pattern going. Let's see. Oh man. We'll turn that one over. So I guess I'm going to have to do this in stages because I am, I'm trying to make room on my desk. Give me a second. Because if I get the both sides wet, then what am I going to do? Makes sense. See these beautiful. Thought I would try the different ones. I've got it. I haven't really used these distress inks. So this one is black suet. I said, I don't even know how this is going to work. Like those two. I want to do the brown one with the other purple right now. Do you like the walnut and the I think that the cardboard is picking up some of this too. And the other side is completely white. So I wanted to see what that looked like.
have some that could. I don't have anything on the back side. I could try it and see. This is actually kind of fun. I wonder if I spray some more, if I can get a little bit more out of it. Let's see, what I would like to do is get that white on the front. Yep, I've done it again. Didn't let it dry. What I think would be a good thing would be I'm gonna try something different. So I got my silicone mat and get this out. You know the problem is I have nowhere to put them all. I'm just going to stick that in there and let's try it this way. I've seen people doing it like this. And I thought, oh, I want to try it. So let's see. I'm going to go get some more water, I think. This one's just white and actually got stuck in the printer. Like I said, I've been printing a lot. I need like a clothesline so I can hang these up. Huh? That looks good. Look at that. This one maybe. I'm going to let some of them dry and then maybe come back and do some more. I'm actually going to mix some. Let's go wash my hands for a while. I'm going to put some purple in there just to see. I'm going to try a whole new sheet since I'm... You know what? I like that. I can see I have a new thing to play with. Actually looks pretty good. Let me get some of that corner in something. I know I said I was going to quit. Look at me.
Y'all just be making this look so fun. Look at it. It is. So I wonder if I left this just to soak up some of that. Would it soak up any more? Let it dry. Actually, I need, what I need to do is probably put another sheet and then let it dry. Probably don't need to wipe that up there. Okay. So I'm done with that for today. That was a good experiment. <laughs>